What's up everybody, MC Murr here and welcome back to another video and it's time once again to take a look at another fabulous upcoming game release from our friends at NIS America. That's right, another game coming our way by way of them. And this is one that has been long awaited, at least for me. Now, we're talking about Fallen Legion Revenants, all right? And we looked at the first Fallen Legion when it dropped on Switch here on the show. We did a community live stream. We had some fun with it. Great game, very unique product all around. It's getting harder and harder in the RPG genre to really do something new and unique. And this game does that. But here, we've got the follow-up. Been waiting on this for a while. This is good stuff, I already know. But I want to take a look at it with you. And I want to thank our friends at NIS America for giving us an opportunity to take a look at this game early. It's dropping soon, and you got to get ready. I'm here to get you ready. you got to see what this thing's bringing to the table. Again, truly unique product. Let's get into it right now. Fallen Legion Revenants. Let's go. I've been hyped for this since its announcement, and if you played the first game, then chances are you have been too. You know, we reviewed Fallen Legion Rise to Glory when it dropped for Nintendo Switch, a definitive version of the original game, and I absolutely loved it. RPGs have to work hard to be this unique. A combat style blending turn-based role-playing with a pinch of real time with this marvelous choose-your-own-adventure element mixed in with both buffs and consequences. The combat in Revenants is similar but also does its own thing in many instances. The exemplars earn perks by winning battles, a perk called an Arceus, as well as unlocking slots to put them in. And there's plenty of them in that they're pretty much like loot so that makes for meaty character customization. They of course have weapon and armor slots for actual loot, meaning you have a nice depth to rounding out each character as you play, with all the aforementioned. Exemplars also have mastery abilities that they can earn through achievements, all unique to each which gives you additional combat challenges trying to satisfy the requirements. Like in the first game, you still have battle points that recharge for attacks. You have your abilities, and you have to be hyper-vigilant in the timing of your blocking and parrying to minimize damage and both throw off and injure your enemies. Chaining attacks and mixing things up can almost feel like a beat-em-up in certain moments, and the combat gets pretty frenetic. The three-way choices you would face in between battles on the first game are now a more complex scenario. The steward will interact with the other NPCs at the castle and has to gather information, weigh in on situations, and even obtain items, all of which will affect the path of the player characters and the story, so your playthrough will be filled with very tangible what-ifs, which will undoubtedly have you coming back for multiple playthroughs. The politics at the castle alongside the happenings in the field leave you in a constant state of wondering if you did the right thing or if you're walking into a trap. The name of the game here is Strategy While Panicking. I've messed up plenty in this first playthrough of mine, at least I think, because running out of time is also making a decision not to decide, or not finishing something critical. So characters die, and I, I, I think I feel bad about every call I've made so far. This isn't linear, like I'm in these scenarios because of other choices I made. Through the scrying option, you can go back to past points and change how you handled things, but you're starting over from that point and forfeiting your current progress. There's no multiple save files to exploit. As you discover and examine new weapons, you'll gain new exemplars, each more intriguing than the last, well-rounded with signature abilities and in need of your customization. Picking the right mix of fighters for a given application is crucial. Not to mention that regardless of what Steward Lucian says, does, finds out, you'll still have to go through the final say-so of going against him or agreeing with what is suggested. Meanwhile in combat, you're having to manage so much on top of maintaining a timed defense. You have no chance without it. Boss fights legit wear my hands out. And again, it's combos and defense triggering shield breaks and chaining attacks and revenant magic together to maximize your damage. There's a laboratory where potions can be crafted, 
for a party-wide effect in the field, and this can make or break your chances of surviving any given scene. All this is not so much a learning curve as it is a memory game. I mean, all the attack commands are button combos, and it's like a game of DDR for your fingertips. I got all my right hand digits up on this controller pad right now. Now let's talk audio. The sound and the music are totally decent. I mean, the tunes are well arranged and the sound effects are bumping right down to the footsteps on rough terrain, especially with a performance headset. I mean, everything sounds three dimensional and dynamic. I like it. The music is very full, but has that prominent bass line like I like that gives it presence it can't do without. One unique aspect of this game is that it has a seemingly fast pace for an RPG. Again, the frenetic combat style and the time limits on activities and response choices move everything along at a pace that just cannot drag. There are no 15 minute cutscenes or anything like that. Not that that would bother me, but some do prefer that that be kept to a minimum. The load times in the game seem longer than they should be for a program this size, but the fast pace of literally everything else kind of makes up for that. The art style in this game has grown on me, but it is definitely different from the first Fallen Legion game. They went with almost an oil painting look to the art, which is definitely something different. I think I prefer the sharp cut lines of the original, but that's just my personal preference. I mean, this does look good though. And Signature which sets it apart. All in all, we've got a great sequel here, which succeeds in having its own identity. Not a reskin, not glorified DLC, but a standalone, original and unique experience that's not so far removed from the developing franchise that it doesn't still qualify as a sequel. Again, if you enjoyed the first Fallen Legion, or if you're a newcomer, either way, you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna like this. Fallen Legion Revenants is available in the Exemplary Edition from the NIS America store for only $74.99, including a card deck, a keychain, art cards, a digital soundtrack with multiple art books, all in a collector's big box. Check the description of this video for the link. And the Vanguard Edition is available for only $49.99, including the digital soundtrack and an art book. Always extras, every time. Gotta love it. Fallen Legion Revenants launches February 16th on PS4 and Nintendo Switch. So secure your copy and get ready to get in on this. So there you have it. Fallen Legion Revenants. Loving what I'm seeing so far. Been dying for this to come out. This is dropping very soon. So get your pre-orders in. I know you had to like what you saw here. I mean, you know I wanna know what you think about what you saw here. So leave me a comment in the comment section of this video. You know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Merch Show, something that we do a lot of. Again, this is just a really unique product. It manages to do so much, you know, almost just outside the box, yet staying right within the genre. It's just a unique product. I like what they've got going here. I, I don't know of anything else that really compares to it as far as what it's doing. It's truly unique. I enjoy the system. I like how it plays. I know there's gonna be multiple playthroughs based on how this works. You get your replay value there. So it's checking lots of boxes. That's what we look for new releases to do. So much fantastic stuff going on. So much more coming your way from NIS America this year. You're talking about some folks that are really bringing the heat. There's so much coming your way you have no idea. And I wanna thank again our friends at NIS America for giving us a chance to take an early look at Fallen Legion Revenants coming soon and it's just fantastic loving what I'm seeing here it's a game that's really making its mark it's a game that has provided us with a solid sequel here from what I can see and there could be more in the future too hey I hope that you like this review hope that you like this video we're gonna drop a like on this video go ahead drop a like and most importantly if you have not already done so I hope that you're going to subscribe to the MC Merch Show and be a part of our nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell. So you're always the first to know when new content goes live. Content just like this review here. Again, there's so much more coming your way from NIS America this year. And you're going to see a lot of that action here first because you know it's a publisher I love. They've got games I love. 
when we play in these things. And I want you to get in on this and check them out with me. MC Murr signing off for this fantabulous review. And I will see each and every one of you again on the next one.